What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models. Today I'm going to do a re book review on Hobby Link Japan's. Um, oh, what month is this? And I should have thought of that. Okay, so let's try it again. Three, two, one. What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models. I want to do a, on this little book review on this. Uh, on this magazine, this is Hobby Japan's magazine September issue of 2019, and I picked. I went to Gundam Planet a couple of weeks ago, and I saw this. And normally, I don't buy magazines unless it ca catches my interest, and it caught this one caught my interest because it basically covers a lot of the War in a Pocket mobile suits. And now that we got the Master Grade uh, Alex 2.0 and now the RE100 uh, Zaku 2 uh, Zaku 2 Kai, you could say. Um, a lot of information, a lot of great work here is being displayed, and I want to share it with you guys, if you don't mind. Um, and, and you know, see what we can see here. I know sometimes you can go to websites and people will post mag um, detail um, uh, pictures of it, but I like, I like to like go through each and you know go through this and see what we got here. Um, Hopefully I don't take too much time, because I know this is a thick book and there's a lot of cool things. But we'll get to the meat and potatoes of this. Um, first up, we have, of course, some information about the episode. Of course, here's the Master Grade Alex 2.0 and the Zaku 2 FZ. I say Kai, it's actually FZ. Some of the detailed history of uh, the sixth episode, War in the Pocket, which I will definitely like to watch again if I if I have the time if I get the chance to do it alright so this is one of the one of my favorite mobile suits or the aquatic mobile suits the Zagok experiment type along with the high gog and we have this in both the original 1 100 scale high grade kits I'm sorry the original 1 100 uh, 144 scale sorry uh, kits that came out back in the 90s and of course the uh, updated version of uh, the high grade versions universal center you could say and some uh, great paint and detail work here. You know, considering that we got the RE version of the of the Zaku FZ, it would be nice to see that one as a, an RE, or maybe this one. Maybe this will not be a good idea choice for an RE, considering um, it could be a little too loose and it may need a little bit more work in it. Like a, it definitely needs an inner frame as well as the Zaga, uh, experimental type. He has a great diorama scene right here, and I kind of like the use of the LED light in the mono eye. Basically, the scene from the, the box art scene. Yeah, this is basically the original box art of the of the Heizak. Heizak, I said. I know I said it wrong because I always keep messing up. No, Heizak. Heizak. And here it is, right there. Yeah, that's. I, I keep every now and then I keep seeing that high grade um, original one. I'm sorry, the new one, or the updated version one, and I would have loved to pick that up. I remember getting. I, I remember getting this. I do remember getting this. I got two of these because the build for this is so perfect. I loved it. I I never purchased this, but now I got the the new high grade version. I never. I do remember having this one. Having this one, never got this, never got this. Clearly, I never got this one, but I did get this. And I heard some bad negative things about the, uh, of the camphor. So here's a cold district type, now available as not only a high grade, but also a master grade, but it's P Panda. Yet, the detail on this is really cool, and some great paint job here, giving it some, some arctic, Arctic camo, not camo, but more like um, the weathering of type, uh, an Arctic weathering, you could say, which is very difficult, but it's easy to do, I heard. Rick Dom 2. Now, this is a nice mobile suit that I would love to see as a 1 100 scale. Really nice. The weathering is beautiful on this. Yelgu Jaeger. I think we need a, high, a new version of this as a master grade. I'll take an RE any day, of course. 
Maybe they'll do a revived version. Who knows? Because now, uh, because I'm looking at this and you see right here that they actually he, whoever built the person who built this got out the sides of the of the, uh, of the pegs, cut them off, and actually built um, custom made connectors for uh, polycaps. And then, even though I never bought this kit, I'm assuming the arms itself was redesigned at the joints, so you can put a, probably a ball cap in there so you can connect it. Unfortunately, this m magazine doesn't show how he did it. Oh, no, I'm lying. There it is. That's where he did. He made the ball joint there. And this is probably the Kotobukiya option parts he must have used. So he glued that on. Cut, he cut a hole, glued it on. Or, no, he didn't cut, he cut the hole, glued that on there, and then, of course, he had to connect the uh, remaining arm. Alright, so that's kind of cool. That's nice. Master grade. Here's the timeline of the mobile suits, of course. And, of course, the ever-so-popular Kempfer. Now, this is a mobile suit that I think we definitely need a 2.0 on this. I've had the original one and I never built it and I've always kicked my ass for that saying to myself why haven't I never built it. Um, I've heard some, it had some issues in certain areas, I don't know what it is. But I would have, if I see this on sale I'll definitely, definitely pick this up because it is a, a gorgeous looking mobile suit. And here's one mobile suit that I hope we can get as a, as a 1100 scale. This one I wouldn't mind as a, as a, uh, as a RE mass production type gun cannon. Yeah, that's a good red. I like that color. Oh, he did some pretty cool job with the vents. I like that. This is the RH35E Draken E. What scale is this? 144 scale. Wow, that's actually really small. That's a cool diorama belt right there. And then of course the GM Sniper. The GM Sniper 2. 144 scale was used in this diorama. And here's the uh, the big boy itself, the Alex 2.0. I remember building this and I remember how bad the knees were. It would never stay up. It, it never positioned itself right. But this one looks really cool. And I kind of like the battle damage that, that was done on this. Clearly, like in the episode where where the um, Kemper wrapped around its um, the mines and it blew up, and then you see all that. And then here's the FZ, and that's really nice. Good custom right there with the um, the broken arm and the wiring stick sticking out like that. I haven't picked this kit up yet, and I hope to get it soon. Uh, but this looks really nice. Oh, that's a really beautiful heat hawk. I like the machine gun, of course. You know what? I, I don't know if that's the same machine gun that's on the Master Grade Dom. I don't know if it's a retool or something like that. Maybe somebody can let me know. Because I know the Dom, the Master Grade Dom has a machine gun like this. Almost looks similar to this. And I wonder if it's the same. I, I'll have to do a... I'll look online and check this out. Um, another custom build right here with the um oh okay cool the battle damage from the scene you know from the final scene and of course he put LED lights on the head I can imagine the spacing of the head is big enough to actually put LED lights that's really nice really cool look at that ooh nice now this is what I like as much as I like the original um more in a pocket uh look to it I kind of like something like this. Look at this. That's real. That's a badass paint job right there. And of course, I, you can see how the how he did. He uh, worked up on this. Oh, wow! He actually painted it from the tray. And isn't that? Uh, I've seen people do that. They paint the kits from the tray and then they snap it off. RX-78 NT1 Gundam NT1 so what is this the Alex 2.0 but made as a oh it's the same same the Alex okay just the, the look of it looks a little weird where do those boosters come from is that custom 
Oh yeah, they're custom, all right. Oh wow, that's really nice. Oh, it's using, okay, so that's the beam rifle from the Stein. Cool. Sniper 2, high mobility type. That's a beautiful build, look at that. Two big, massive thrusters there. Where do those thrusters come from? Pretty much look like bottle caps. Gives me some ideas. And there's the Diver Nami. NT, uh, NT1 version. That's kind of funny. I know probably somebody's giving, getting some ideas on this. Uh, some SD kits. This is the Legends BB Full Armor Night Gundam conversion. Uh, Night Alex, of course. Ooh, that's actually really nice. I like that one. And I actually like the, the, the camel pattern. And then we have some um, anime anime in action. So these are these are not model kits. These are basically the anime kits, the robot spirits line, I think. Oh, there's something here. Hold on. Am I missing something? Okay, so we're seeing this here. But on the next page, we have the Gundam. TR1 Hazel Oswald Alva. I sent this many times and I was never a big fan of the Hazel. It is a beautiful looking kit, but I don't see myself building this anytime soon or getting my hands on it. XC Repair 2, 144 scale. Obviously, we've already seen this before, but now it's available as a real guide. Now this is of course new kits that are coming up. We already know that we're getting the um, Zaku Warrior Luna Marie Hawk type, and wow, that is beautiful. Uh, I think this is actually as, as much as we all wanted the NT Alex. This is one of the most anticipated um, Master Ray kits for 2000, um, 2019. I, obviously, this part, and of course the Barbatus. We almost forgot about that. Penelope is another high grade kit that everybody's waiting for and that's going to be a big ass boy that's, and that's retailing at 6800 yen while this one will be 4300 yen uh, for the high resolution kits we're getting that of course the um, the God Gundam from G Fighter or G Gundam we're getting the high grade um, Sand Rock we can't wait for that one we got this one right now um, I see some add-on parts for something and I don't know what this is somebody will have to tell me what that is I think we're getting a new victory Gundam uh, high grade I've done, I forgot what's it called I've seen it before but and then we have the detect the um, GM the GM detector with the um, the backpack thing and for those of you who are a big fan of, of uh, Thunderbolt I, I wish we could see that that um, that what do you call it? That um, flying sled thing that was used in the episode, as well as the uh, Gulf flight type. We definitely need a new Gulf flight type from the Origins. And now we're gonna get this one, this um, heavy arms Gundam. Um, the this one is is now uh, available on pre-order at I believe Gundam Planet. So I'll ch um, I could be completely wrong, so I apologize for that. And then we have this kit. This one's actually another um, GM, but I forgot the name of it. But that's a P Bandai, so these are pretty much all P Bandai. Well, we got some tools here. Amazing cutter, an amazing cutter middle. middle. Ooh, I know somebody's getting ready for that one. Somebody wants that. I wouldn't mind that. Mobile Suit Gundam Micro Wars. I already got the regular Gundam version, but here's the ground type version. Um, of course, I didn't come with the man, the little soldier men. You need to buy the vehicles that come with the little men so you can put it inside. Here's the regular GM, and here's the Gulf, and here are the other ones that I mentioned before. Uh, I believe this is the ensemble kits. Looks like it. 
Some Gashapons, of course, from the Godzilla movie. The figure of Gato. And then we have a ooh, a nice little poster of the. Let me see if I can get this so you guys see this. Check that out. That's actually really nice. Them them fixed variations, metal composite. Uh, both MS 6 S Charles Zaku 2 uh, for Origins and RX 7802 Gundam. Both of them Origins kits. Which, in all due fairness, I would not mind getting this as a Masquerade if hopefully Bandai announces that. Some good detail conversations here. Wow, that's actually really nice. Look at that. Nice and clean and smooth. Wow. I'm going to look at this all day. And I will. I never got the Origins Master Grade, and I know maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll cave in and buy it. Because then if you buy you buy that, and it's like, okay, I'm buying another Gundam again. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, what was that? Very yellowy. Fix for, Gundam Fixed Federation's Metal Composite. But it doesn't say for what. 40th Anniversary. Is it like the prototype? Could this be the prototype? Hmm. Very mustard color. Something you don't normally see anyway. Uh, the Super Mini Pla, and of course I can't. Gao Gai Gar. Gao Gai Gar. Gunstain. Never seen that before. It's very weird. Code Geass. Series of Code Geass is not over yet for us. Oh, Blockhead X Nebula. Very Robotech-ish. Looking at this right now. I remember, of course, the, the this line of kits when it first came out here in the United States as Robotech, of course, from the Robotech Defender line. But I don't know why I never got my hands on this. I think at the time I wasn't, you know, when you're 15 or 16 years old, you don't have the funds that you normally have. This one looks nice. I love this 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 multiple, you know, L I'm going to call it an LRM10 cuz obviously this is you know, for for you Mech Warrior fans out there, that reminds me of Mech Warrior. But when you're 15 years old, it's kind of hard to get you'd like the money to say, "Hey, mom, dad, give me the money to buy this kit." And of course, you don't know where to go get it or how much it is or how easy to go and, you know, back in the day Here's some uh, Votum kits. Very nice. And then here's the Genesis Gao Gaigar. That's crazy. Crazy bird. Five star story. That's. That's a one line of kit that I. It, it's it's it looks weird in a way, but it's amazing in the looks. Armored Ka Ka Armored Amazing Kaiser Go Valiant. Wow. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, this is Modroid. Not good smile. That's really nice. I like the Gatlin gun. Sugo Os Osad. Oh, wow, that's a car with wings. And then we have some uh, Motoroids Aerial. Some sort of weird mechanical robot. Female robot. Or it has to be a robot. Then. I don't know. I'm not following this line. But it looks pretty neat. I know the big thing now is um, is uh, um, girl, you know robot girls. Or armored girls, you could say. Like the frame armored girls. Oh, wow. 
New God Phoenix from, um, well, here in the States it was called uh, Battle of the Planets, and of course over there it was called, um, um, I forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot what the hell this was called. I know it's going to come to me in a few moments. So it'll, it'll, it'll come to me. But to me, it was Battle Planet. Uh, I remember the model kit of this at a store, and I always keep seeing it, but I could never, I could never like make heads or tails of what it, you know, what it was for, or who, from what series it was until until recently. Oh wow! So here is the here is a conversion of both the Ginga and the Andromeda. So it's a Ging drama, you could say. But this is referred to as the Aquarius. And they really figured out how to keep that base there, add some features to it. I kind of like, oh, that's actually really nice. I like that with the wiring holding up the fighters instead of having it lying down on the ground. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. I got to build my Ginga when I get a chance. When I get the chance. They knew this. They knew this. Oh, this is the uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes ships. Again, another series that I've seen a bit here and there, but we'll never get into it. Okay, so here we go. This one's a Genesis Gal Gai Gar 50, um, 24 centimeter. I'm trying to see what I can actually decipher, but there's not, not much here. doesn't say anything about if it's Bandai, but I have a feeling it is. But it's gorgeous. Look at that doesn't say scale or any type whatsoever some zoids for you zoid fans out there frame music girl music girl oh frame music girls okay that's something new and then of course more frame arm girls here I mean I have to admit they're looking nice but it's not not for me never been I've never been into this I have the uh, the um, I got the the other kit from Bandai, which I haven't built yet. And hopefully, I get a chance to build it soon. Some dolls, or Freemon girls dressed up as dolls. Some paint color, Citadel colors. Okay, how to Citadel color contrast. And then we have some paint guides here, or. Ooh, what's this? So option parts? Can't tell if that's the original RX-782 or an older version of the RX-782, but clearly you have the uses of other parts here, like joints and stuff from other, from probably from Kotobukiya, probably from Wave, and then you can just modify your existing older kits to show this type of, um, of uh, posability. That's actually pretty nice. That's really cool. I like that. There's some Maka mobiles, um, Maka units right here. Machine Kruger. I have a feeling that every time I see a Machine Kruger, they all look the same. I haven't seen anything different but the same old power suit, same old um, weird ball thingy or ship thingy. I know there's a Gashapon thing where you can actually buy and build it together. Here's some of the new kit arrivals. Oh, I love the Minerva. I wish I could get my hands on that one. And then all oh, the um, the Mecha Godzilla kit that I I, uh, I can't buy anything. <laughs> uh, oh, what is this? King of the Monsters of Godzilla. What's a Well, hold on. Bandai's non-scale soft vinyl figure. Okay, so this is the soft vinyl figure version. Doesn't say the price tag on it. But I see somebody began working on it and detailing it, so that's actually really nice. Here's what they did here. A, sh um, a different version of the Shin Godzilla. This looks a little shorter. That's a weird Godzilla. Wow. The mouth and mouth postures. What the hell is this? Oh, it has to be Ultraman. Any other monster that I have not heard seen before has to be Ultraman or some other um, Tokusaku series. 
And then we have some more techniques and ideas here. Scale model review. Some tanks. Hummel. That's a good build right there of a tank of an artillery tank, German artillery tank. Uh, nice little diorama scene. U.S. United States Air Force B-1 Lancer. I remember the first time I bought a kit like this back in the late 80s when Monogram was making this. It was a nice, it was a big plane. Wow. Big plane. Japanese Navy Akazuski class destroyer. Motorcycles, oh. monkey, monkey, one twenty-five by Tamiya, Honda monkey. Amazing Warhammer. They're starting to show more Warhammer items in 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 Hobby Link Japan. Sorry, Hobby Japan Magazine, sorry. And now you can actually... I kind of like the fact that you can buy the sets and you can paint it. Uh, there are people who do who do a lot of great work on that. Uh, I'm Again, something I would love to get into. I just... I'm not, I'm not very good at, like, flesh-type painting. More like the mechanical type. So that's more where my strengths are. Space Marines, like, something like this. It, it looks cool. I like that. Uh, what the hell is this? Jesus. The Dunwich Horror Whitney Twins. Okay. Hey, some Final Fantasy IX. Cool. There's Batman. Whoops. And Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Some Saint Sian kits. Hero Saga. Okay. Common Rider type things. Menzinger and Menzinger Z, I believe. That's actually really nice. There's some. Diclone. Oh my god. So, decals for tattoos for the... F oh, okay, yeah, all right. all right, fair enough. Stamp your tramp on your little kit. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Evangelion, of course. Boruto. I haven't watched that series for a while. More figures. Hopefully we're not seeing any... Naughty figures. I don't want guys to say something. Let me just go through this. Oh, we saw some naughty ones there, but don't worry. It'll be over soon. If you guys want, I'll, I'm going. I'm breezing through all this because clearly this is something that you. If you want to get this magazine, head on over to Gundam Planet. They have it. I'll post a link on my on this video so you guys can click on it and get your hands on you know a magazine or so. Um, some black and white stuff here. I think that's pretty much it. Let me see what the last pages are. Uh, some informational. And then, oh, of course, probably in the next magazine, they'll be talking about the new Gundam, a real grade, and, of course, the F-90 kits, which everybody is waiting for. And I don't know what the hell that is. So there you have it. My review of, my quick review of Hobby Japan's September issue for 2019. Some great, great pictures here for the guys to sit down and look at. Sometimes, of course, it's good to see stuff on the computer, but it's also a good idea to sit down on, you know, on a table, have a cup of coffee or tea, and review material like this and give you some inspiration or insights or some new ideas on what you want to do with your belts. With that being said, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching, and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great 
day.